Hello. In this video, I'm going to teach you some of the basics of the Chekhov technique. But first, I'm going to provide you with a brief history of the founder of this method, Michael Chekhov. Michael Chekhov was a Russian actor, director, and teacher from the 20th century. He was the nephew of renowned playwright Anton Chekhov and the prized pupil of theater revolutionary Konstantin Stanislavsky. He later moved to England and eventually the United States, where he acted in several films and coached many famous actors. Over the years, he developed his own method which examined the link between physical and bodily expressions and psychological and emotional states. The first element of the Chekhov training that I want to focus on is the 11 archetypal gestures. Open, close, push, pull, embrace, lift, penetrate, ring, tear, smash, and throw. When performing these gestures, make sure you connect your breath to the gesture. It is also important that you maintain a sense of polarity. Polarity is one of the most important tools in this work. Here's an example. When you are moving to open, go into a closed polarity first in order to reach the full polar expansion of open. Finally, ensure that you radiate when performing these archetypal gestures. In his book, On the Technique of Acting, Chekhov defines radiating as the ability to send out the invisible essence of whatever quality, emotion, or thought you wish. It should be sent with great strength. The next element of the training that I want to focus on is the psychological gestures. When performing psychological gestures, actors physicalize an internal emotional need or want by creating an external gesture. They then internalize this gesture along with its concurrent feelings. It is from the archetypal gestures that you can develop psychological gestures. Archetypal gestures become psychological gestures when you add a quality. However, any gesture is a psychological gesture as long as it is simple, strong, and full-bodied, as Chekhov states. Here's an example. If you are performing a gesture in which you are opening, you could add a quality to that such as coldly or energetically. Here are some other examples. To push lovingly. To push forcefully. To lift adoringly. To lift aggressively.
One of the practical applications of these gestures is that you can use it to explore both monologues and scenes. As you define the beats, which are changes in action in your monologues and scenes, you can then create a gesture that you can use to explore the doings of those beats.